example lesson video uh, advertising my private lessons on Skype. Um, today I'd like to talk about um, lead guitar playing and, and, and a specifically one, one category of lead guitar playing um, that uh, folks often wonder about. Um, well, first, in, in the context of a rock band um, or any kind of band with, with two guitars where there's a rhythm guitar player and a lead guitar player, well, obviously, a lead guitarist's main job in the group is to, is to solo um, in between lyrical verses. But uh, one question that arises often is, is what what's the 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 job of the lead guitarist in relation to uh, chordal playing or, or comping? What what does a lead guitarist play uh, while the vocalist is, is singing? Well, um, in in a in the context of a of a group with two guitars, um, the rhythm guitarist. Uh, uh, would, for instance, be um, playing, uh, you know, these very familiar open position chords. Um, now, what we're talking about specifically here is is how do we arrange parts uh, in in the context of of music? It's good to uh, arrange contrasting parts. So the lead guitarist, um, just for our purposes in this video, let's say, uh, doesn't want to simply mimic uh, and, and play the exact same chord voicings. Uh, the lead guitarist wants to have some contrast in there uh, with the rhythm guitarist. And so one option that's available is uh, to play the chord progression using triads. Triads are uh, three note chords, the most basic chords there are. Um, they have a root, they have a third, and they have a fifth. Now on the guitar, the, the triads, um, the triad shapes are really, uh, really stand out. And so what we're going to look at first, uh, there's three types of triads. There's a root position triad, which is where the notes are simply stacked from lowest to highest. Then there's a first inversion triad, inversion being where you take the bottom note of the triad and you move it up to the top of the voicing so that the root's no longer the lowest uh, note in the chord, uh, the third is. Then there's uh, the second inversion, which is where you take what what is the bottom note of, of the first inversion, that third, and then you move that up to the top. Therefore you have the fifth on the bottom. Now as a as a lead guitarist, it's essential that you become familiar with all of these triad qualities and all of their inversions. It, it's it's absolutely imperative uh, if you if you want to have um, good options available to you and you want to be a, uh, a, a a capable lead guitarist. So I'm going to take this uh, simple chord progression right now. Um, it's a four chord chord progression, just open position chords. So we have G. D, C, and E minor. So we're going to look at each of these chords and pull some triads out of them. Now, let's take the let's take uh, uh, the G chord first. And what I'm going to do is I'm just going to I'm going to choose a uh, first inversion triad for for this. And so that would uh, be this shape here. So I'm going to use that for the G chord. Now, uh, let's say for for the C chord, um, or I'm sorry, let's say for the D chord, uh, the next chord, I'm going to do a second inversion. And on guitar, a second inversion D triads, it's, it's pretty pretty easy, pretty simple shape. Um, it's these three notes here, uh, but I'm going to go ahead and bar them. And then um, for the C chord, um, I'm just going to keep that inversion and I'm just going to move it down to C. 
So what I'm going to do is go from D down a whole step to C. Now for for the E minor, um, I'm going to play a root position. So that would be this. Uh, so we have our uh, three different shapes for four chords. G, D, C, and uh, E minor. Now um, I'm going to choose a second set of um, triads and inversions. So let's say um, I want to play something uh, maybe on the lower uh, register of the guitar. So for G I'm going to do this. This is a uh, second inversion G triad. It looks a lot like the, uh, the E shape, you know, down here. Just these three notes. Now for the for the C, I'm gonna do. Um, oh, sorry, again. Uh, for the D, I'm gonna do a uh, first inversion. So I'm gonna have the third on the bottom, and and down here on the fifth, fourth, and third strings, that's gonna look like this. Really, it's it's like this, but uh, I like to bar with the finger there. Just these three notes. And then um, I'm gonna keep that for for um, for the C chord. Just move it down a whole step. And then uh, for the E minor, I'm going to do a, a, a second inversion E minor triad, which is going to look like this. Looks a lot like the, uh, the A minor shape down here. So I'm going to go through um, these different sets of triads. And um, I got my, my loop pedal here with the open position chords ready to go, so I'm just going to go ahead and hit that and go through these. Here we go. So this is the first inversion. Second inversion, second inversion, root position. Now I'm going to switch to the other set of triads. Again, I'm going to start down here with the G shape. So here it comes. That's a lot of really good information. Um, by just incorporating these triads and their inversions, um, I, as a lead guitarist, have now created a whole new uh, textural uh, uh, landscape, um, and I've, uh, I've come up with a with an with an arranged part to accompany the more basic open position chords. It has great sound uh, when you superimpose different triad inversions, you're going to notice that they all have really nice colors and, and you can mix and match. And so as a lead guitarist, um, I would highly recommend um, incorporating uh, all the triad shapes and, and the triad inversions in, into, your, into your playing. Um, this is, again, a, a brief example of a lot of the really good material that you can get into with me. Um, on Skype. Um, so please check back for uh, some more videos of mine, um, a couple different topics I'll be going through. Uh, so I hope to see you again soon.